And we have made the curriculum relevant to produce competent and job ready and active and responsible citizens. Take steps to accelerate the delivery of basic education facilities and services. Take good care of learners by promoting learner well being, inclusive education, and a positive learning environment, and give support to teachers to teach better. But how can we do this after attending all the series of seminars? Okay, not only in the learning action cell in your school, okay, but other institutions like here in Magister Service, this is now our time to support. So if there are teachers one to three attending here, may I see your hearts? Can you give me a heart in our chat box? Can you give me your heart? Teachers one to three are there. Wow. Yes, thank you from... All right, marami po tayong mga teachers one to three dito. Thank you very much. From SDO Rizal and Gaile, thank you. And of course, I believe that there are also uh, middle administrators here, master teachers, head teachers, teacher in charge. Welcome again to Magister Service. So again, uh, the instructional leadership, instructional supervision, pabalik-balik po ang mga concept na ito. And I'll be showing you more existing literatures and also my own experience on how would it be put into practice because the improvement of the curriculum, we focus this one on foundational skills and uh, the peace competencies, resiliency, and everything about being uh, discussed by the Department of Education would cascade it to us because we provide quality education to our country. And that might be the reason why you're attending here. And of course, you will put into practice what you have learned. So at the end of this training, you are expected to understand the importance of instructional supervision and instructional leadership. You will also be analyzing the effect of instructional supervision by school authorities. You will value and recognize the accomplishment engaged by school heads okay, regarding classroom instruction and students learning. And we critic, you will critic on the current trend of principal's instructional supervision and its effectiveness. Remember that you cannot be an effective teacher if you will not stand first as an efficient one. And then all you have learned from this uh, training, you will apply this in, into practice to a current pedagogical challenge okay, in the new normal. Remember, there are two things that you have to possess as a teacher because you cannot be a principal if you will not undergo first a plain teacher. First, uh, the knowledge of the subject matter and greater hire of motivation. Thank you for the hearts, okay, Sir Rodel, okay, and Mom Cherry Ann. Okay, thank you for the hearts. So meaning to say you are really there and alive and alive Okay, alert, enthusiastic. That's our motto as a teacher. We always sell our subject matter. Okay, so let's clarify first. What is this? Okay, supervision. This implies one to one and prompt guidance. Okay, along with the employees, along with instructing, monitoring, and controlling them. Okay, this is the plan, the policies. Okay, in a timely manner, and in the two conjunction words, there is what we call super and vision. Just like Superman, can we be like him? And how will we become a what we call something exemplar in our school? Because above to see or view it in a nutshell, there is what we call overseeing of the employees. I remember in Cebu Normal University, when I took education, I didn't realize that I became a master teacher. But then for two decades of teaching, and now this work is a motherly work. Okay, But since I'm a male, so just like a, 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 in a pastoral, okay? Para pa akong pastol, okay? the, managing all the lambs. That's what I feel now as a teacher. And in the new normal, we always compare and contrast this one. So, this one. Let us refresh ourselves because learning is a continuous process. 
So what is instructional supervision again? It's a phase of school administration, the achievement of the appropriate expectations of educational system. Now remember, in an educational system, if we don't like the system, we might be forced to leave. However, this job is our bread and butter. Therefore, instructional supervision is a collaborative effort. And I will tell you later what I have learned from uh, teaching uh, since the opening of the K-12 because I'm teaching now a senior high school uh, practical research and applied economics that ako po araling panlipunan by nature. And supervision of instruction is the process of bringing about improvement of teaching and learning process through a network of cooperative activities. And one of the cooperative activities is this one. When you have already your LP or lesson plan, now it is what we call TGL, you will share that to your colleagues or friends in the service. My question is, did you do that? Did you share your lesson plan? Huh? Say yes or no. May I see your answer if you are still with me in our chat box? Did you share your lesson plan? Because that is one of the best practices, okay? Even if there is no COT, yes or no? May I see your answers? Yes or no? Yes, very good. Yes, po. thank you, Ma'am Rochelle. Thank you, Ma'am Michelle. Okay, that's the best, one of the best practices. Okay, so let me continue. What are the characteristics of supervision? Okay, so we'll start from the left side. So I colored it yellow, the elements of directing. This is how, uh, how motivation, communication, and leadership occurs. That's how we direct, even if we, if we are not yet principal, but I see what I see from my principal, from my supervisor is that he or they motivated me and, and let me grow in our school for more than 10 years in Don Serio Osmeña Memorial National High School and even in, in Cebu Normal University because I am an adjunct assistant professor three in CNU. Then we have universal activity. That's the common activity which is required at different levels of management. We always participate of all the activities. There's also what we call continuous process. The continuous process is a constant and frequent supervision required by the employees to perform various tasks. So we are here to resolve issues related to the work or job, which occur abruptly because there are instances that might, might happen, okay? Like what if uh, uh, the Department of Education would declare that all of the students in basic education must go back to the, the modular, modular approach? Are you in favor of that? That's why they are asking for survey, whether we would... Uh, Go for it or favor or not. There is also a direct contact. The two parties involved here are the supervisor and the subordinate. Remember, just, just like the principal, he or she will not function very well if there are no subordinates. And who are the subordinates? We, the, the simple teachers. Therefore, there is a direct and one-to-one -one contact between the two. Huh? So don't be afraid when you see your supervisor as long as you're doing your job. Overseeing of work, this is to ensure that they are working in an appropriate manner. And also, no deviations from the plans, policies, and objectives of the concern. In other words, what is being planned okay, must be followed. And if there are not being carried out, this will be uh, go into meeting what went well and one went wrong. There are also utilization of resources because we facilitate the optimum utilization of this and the elimination of wastage. You hindi nas, uh, nasasayang yung mga pinagkukunang yan man is the maximum, at, uh, min, maximum output and what we call there is also a minimum cost. So economically speaking, tayo dapat ay magbabudget. All right. So we need to focus on this because the instructional supervision okay, knows what is your personality and the personality of your boss and you as a subordinate. What is your purpose of being there in your school? How will you follow the process? And what are the plans that are being formulated? So this is these are all cycles that characterizes instructional supervision. Again, even if you are a plain teacher, you are still part or we are still part of the quality education. That's why 
uh, the supervision of being uh, a master teacher or a head teacher or a, even a principal, okay? Because there are many school heads. And one factor, I tell you honestly, one factor that leads to disagreement in our school is the management or the leadership style of the principal. Am I right? There are conflicts and there are many maritish people who would keep on criticizing. Do you agree with me? Say yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Huh? Okay. So that's why we have to focus on our job and do what is being to do. To, to. All right. Let's move now to the uh, system. If you look at the instructional supervision framework from the Department of Education. We also here in Cebu City, hello, those who can understand Cebuano, you may write there, Bisdak, if you can understand Cebuano, Bisdak ako, or if not, then you just simply Pinoy ako. Wow, thank you, sir, just write Bisdak ako. Ma'am Christy, love Bisdak ako. Yeah. Bisdak means, what does Bisdak means? Uh, yung mga taga Cebuano, tayo po ay mga bisayang dako. But whatever languages we are be using, we are polyglot. Okay, just like Jose Rizal knows how many languages. Okay, let's get back to business now. This is the instructional supervision, okay, the structure in the Department of, of uh, Education. And uh, effectively speaking, all schools must be competitive and engaged when teachers are capacitated, well-guided, and properly supervised and quality student learning. So since there is learning, uh, all of the master teachers in Cebu City are declared as non-directive. Okay, Non-directive because the approach of supervision where teachers come up with their own solutions Okay, we know already what are the solutions of uh, the problems we encountered and we have the freedom for us, huh, master teachers, for master teachers. We express and clarify our ideas and I hope you also do so. Okay, but for those directive okay, type of supervision, if you look at the directive, there is an intensive and informal approach of instructional supervision. They are the teachers one to three. And there's also what we call collaborative supervision that is a generative and relational through which teachers create their own answers and experience freedom and self-competence. And this approach can also be, can only be seen and uh, put into action if you are really doing your job. So this will happen during the cycle of how many CO2 that are needed in order for you to uh, pass the IC IPCRF RPMS. We have that one, okay? So the ultimate goal here is to bring out what is the best teacher, okay? Because every child deserves a champion. See, if you look at the, the, the legal basis of the Department of Education, deserves a champion. And so we teachers must continuously be motivated. We harnessed, updated, and capacitated for them to effectively address the challenges that may arise in the implementation of various learning delivery modalities, okay? Magandang pakinggan, marami pong learning modalities, okay? The question is, did you document Okay, the type of strategy strategy that you are doing. I know all of us are very good at teaching, but the best, the superlative best, where is the uh, evidence base? Huh? Where is the concrete evidence? And eventually this create a positive influence on the performance of students and will improve learning outcomes because that is... Uh, our job, even if you do an action research or basic research, the ending point is to enhance the curriculum. Do you agree with me that all of the action researches, if you are doing that one, is to increase the performance of the students? And how will you increase that one? You need to enhance the curriculum. Okay, so I'll tell you later what is happening now in our division. If you look at the, the structure, if you look at the structure, it started from, from the higher ups from the region. Merong regional director, assistant regional director, up to the regional supervisor. The regional director performs oversight functions in the implementation of the instructional supervision in the region. 
up to the regional supervisor. One of the functions of the regional supervisor is to coordinate with the functional divisions in conducting monitoring and evaluation of all the instructional supervision plan implementation. And we are doing that one. They, they also prepare reports. So all of the reports that we have submitted to them okay, will be facilitated in a technical assistance provided by the regional supervisor. Okay, now we go, we, we'll go to the lower part. If you look at the lower part, the division. So the division is manned by schools division superintendent. Okay, and what is her or his function? He manages the effective and efficient implementation of the instructional supervisory manual to ensure quality in the delivery of basic education services. That's why in, in Cebu City, our, uh, our portfolio looks like this. Okay, if I am a master teacher one, my mentor is Maria Gemma Orlanda, master teacher two. Okay, but one factor that might affect between the relationship between me and Mam Orlando is that she is retireable. Okay, frankly speaking, and of course she has only handled less. But okay, but we need also to guide, help one another. Okay, we are not pulling huh, our teachers. Okay, but we need to support. And I'll tell you later what I have learned from helping, even if there are varying degrees of attitudes, because. Uh, I love CI. CI means creative investigation. Basta Bicolana, magagag. Okay, from Bicolana, hello, Ma Marie Antonieta. Right? So that's the rule of the division. And then from the division, there are also their assistant school division superintendent, meron ding CID chief, meron division supervisor, and they provide, they prepare instructional management supervisory plan. They also analyze and interpret those that we have submitted, and it will be cascaded in our uh, meeting, we have monthly meeting, faculty meeting, what is happening in the exec execon, executive convention. And from there, going down to the district so, so to where the district functions, mayroon po mga PSDS dyan, okay? Uh, ALS implementers, they are, they are also doing their job into as to instructional supervision, okay? They assess, they monitor, they coach, they gather result assessment, they prepare and submit all the reports, and then they implement that one. The only question is, how did they implement that one? Okay, so if we go down, down, lower down, school. So from the school, with the help of other members from the higher ups, the school head or the principal will provide guidance and instructional supervision to the master teachers, the assistant principal, okay, the coordinators. They monitor and evaluate teachers in the delivery of instructions. But of all the things that I'm telling you that I'm reading here, the question is, do you really want to become a school head? Is there an inclination for you? Or do you have an inclination to become a school head? Say yes or no, because for me, myself, I have also a dream to become one of the school heads. But God's plan, okay? God's plan should be provided, should be uh, respected. Yes, yes, ang dami pong yes. So, ibig sabihin, you have a dream, okay? Don't worry, okay? Your yesterday's dream will become tomorrow's reality. And all you have to do is to contribute your quality type of service to the government. That is the only thing that we can do to help our country, the Philippines. <laughs> the Philippines. Okay, so just start this tayo. All right. And those who are aiming for master teacher, okay, item. The master teacher provide guidance and instructional supervision to teachers to improve instructional delivery. Okay, I did that one and I did my best. But again, my best was not good enough, but not to the extent that they are not cooperating. They need only guidance and support. Again, guidance and support. So I introduced to them what are the innovations, the time-tested methods, because, because my major is uh, research and evaluation, okay, doctorate degree. And I also coordinate with the other uh, teachers, other area of specialization, so that it would be more meaningful, okay? As a district research coordinator, I would like to implement and manage all the seven schools, okay? That's how I see my leadership, 
Okay, and we have already products. Okay, I will show you later. We need to coordinate with the school head because even the school head by herself or himself needs also to be coached, needs also to be guided. That's why learning is a continuous process. They might be better in leadership and management style, but in the area of doing into what is expected for them, okay, or what we call your major or area of specialization, kung saan kahiyang or where you bloom, you have to partake and you have to act. You have to be a rule model. We prepare and submit. And once we submit, we, we show that to uh, the, the, the faculty during in-service training. Okay, So that's the structure. Remember, the school head, the master teachers, even teacher one, we are the grassroots okay, on the development and success of our institution. Okay, If you look at the matrix on instructional supervision, if you look at the matrix, okay? Those are the things that we have to focus, okay? If you want to uh, facilitate people, teachers one to three or master teachers one to four here, uh, master teachers one and two only, okay? So the steps there are the following. Well, the, uh, they will visit, that will guide the, the teachers, okay? Uh, the, they follow the, the types of supervisory approach. So we have the directive, the collaborative and non-directive. And during the visitation or observation of classes, it could be scheduled and unscheduled. All you have to do is to prepare for yourself because there are things that you have to show to them, your COT and everything. Okay? And there are also pre and post conferences. Okay? So for the directive, it's only that you will be conducted with the DIS or what we call the directive instructional based on the timetable, okay? And for the non-directive, however, if we, if we analyze, if we analyze, some would not accept that they belong to the directive because some of them have already experienced from private schools. And when they go to the depth ed, it's something that there is what we call a criticism or there is a prejudice something. Okay, that's why this type of arrangement in, in, in our division, in our region, okay, is just part of the innovative, okay, because of the uh, matatag, okay, that in Region 7, we always uphold what is being uh, mandated. We just simply follow what is being directed by uh, Region 7, okay? So whatever the schedule, scheduled or unscheduled, all you have to do is to prepare for ourselves. Now, I would like to uh, share to you a, a related study. We need a related study. Why? Because some gaps or problems that are existing from other countries could also be solved here in the Philippines. And if you look at the aim of this study, they examine the differences on the effectiveness of principals instructional supervision in public secondary schools. And that's in, in Nigeria. And if you look at the results here, I'm, I'm holding the paper. If you look at the result, okay, there is a significant difference in teacher's effectiveness based on classroom observation. There's a significant difference on strategy, okay, post-conference analysis and post-analysis conference. Question, so what if there's a significant difference? We need to apply that one during the, the, the usual work of the teachers. That's why uh, it is recommended. It is recommended from the study that the principal should carry out an adequate instructional supervision of teachers so as to enhance the teaching effectiveness. And that is how, our, how we do the goal to continue the best practices. Otherwise, we have to replicate or repeat and duplicate this one. Okay, so that was in 2016 before COVID-19 and there are existing studies and all we have to do is how the principal use his or her instructional supervision, okay, or the teacher's effectiveness, okay. The question is only, are, are, are your principals or is your principals doing an action research or a basic research? Yes or no, that will be the question. And if not, then we have to challenge them, okay. So, let me continue. Another related study is from Indonesia and the Philippines. It is all about the implementation of instructional supervision okay, 
um, our neighboring country is Indonesia and its effect on the variation of teacher learning models and materials. Now remember, the models and the materials used by these countries okay, must be utilized. Okay, So if you are fond of reading journals, look at the aim to describe the implementation of instructional supervision in that country. And so in what way? They will do survey, but this is a descriptive inferential type of research. And they also use a multiple regression, meaning to say the independent variable okay, versus many dependent variable and among the dependent variable, which among them contributed much to the type of instructional supervision possessed by the principal. And if you look at the results, if you look at the results there, there was, okay, there was no, oh, well, there was no significant difference in their effectiveness. Okay. And however, meron pong however, okay, variations of teachers, okay, way of teaching. So what will we do? We need to repeat and duplicate because, uh, when was this? 2021, and now it's 2023. If that is happening in, in, in other countries or in other provinces, we have to do also the same thing, All right? So what are the techniques of instructional supervision? Okay, kapag technique po, these are just normally comes out during your teaching in the, inside the classroom or just comes out naturally when you manage people. So there are techniques. So there we have the classroom observation, which involves live observation of teacher and analyzing the classroom practices. We know that already. Then we have also demonstration. It involves presentation of prearranged series of events to a group of their view. Then we have also teachers uh, visitation. We have an intervisitation or what we call reciprocal visitation, okay? visiting and observing another teacher in action, another class within the same school or inter-class visitation. Or when I taught in the University of San Carlos, there is what we call a peer observation. Sometimes we feel awkward and sometimes also para bang naaasiwa ka kapag observahan ka na. Well, that's part of our job. Then we have also workshop because workshop involves a small group of people and it discusses a specific topic or work or common problem and trying to find solutions. CIGP spoke concerns, issues, uh, gaps, and problems. These are the things that we have to prepare. Do you agree with me? CIGP is for those who are working in depth ed, you know this already. Then we have micro teaching. It is a teaching situation which is scaled in terms of time, in terms of class size, in terms of teaching complexity. Those things that I am mentioning are variables and variables are prone for measurement. Okay. We also have listening to tape, radio or recordings and to tell you honestly, we only use this one for the teachers, but for the school heads, I do not know if they use this one, but according to the principle, this is one of the characteristics. Then we have also guided practice. This supervision technique involves individualized or small group manipulative activities. It emphasizes uh, uh, talking with practice activities arranged out in context because whatever cultures we have in our school, we have to be proud of that, okay? Like in Cebu City, we're very proud of having our Sinulub as our grand festival. So that's why we, we value and we understand those contingents or participants, okay? That they have to give them an extra mile on so that they can, they can still catch up with our lesson, okay? And of course, research, okay? If you look at the color, I color it yellow because that is the thing that uh, challenge us. It is a systematic and objective collection and analysis of data. And we find solutions to identify the problems because it started with a problem, it ends with a problem. And it will ask you, uh, think of a problem. Nako, ang problema, wala po tayong problem. That's one of the problems in research. Do you agree with me huh? that when we craft research, nice topic, sir, thank you. When we craft research 
and we are we are as a problem and problema wala po tayong problema <laughs> that's that's the one of the problems okay but don't worry it's not only the problem the best practices that you have there must be continued huh? that's the that's the point okay so whatever suggestions you will facilitate the implementation or improve the teaching input process process remember all of us here how many are we here how many are we more than a hundred we are good in critiquing but remember we must also be better in performing our students our pupils we let them do this task diba? performance task ang problema si teacher mismo ay walang performance that's one of the problems okay and that we need to address that one I'll show you what I have done as a simple master teacher only, okay? So, Mr. Jeromisa is our public school supervisor. Ito pong nasa gitna si Dr. Ikong. She's our principal. And we planned and then we come up with a basic research entitled Emerging Trends of Blended Learning Instructional Approaches on Basic Education, the Students' Academic Achievement. So, this is a meta-analytic assessment and theory generation. There are two designs here. I understand that the two of them okay, uh, knows a uh, little of this design, but with my power and supervision as a master teacher, I would be able to convince them that we have to do this, mom. But I don't have the power to gather all the, the teachers in South District 4 because there are 16 districts in our division and we belong to South District 4. That's why uh, this research has already uh, realized and then presented in the international level and it's for free, okay? That's how we put up the leadership style, my leadership style in our division, okay? And so it did really happen, okay? Okay, open up yung cortina natin. Okay, we presented this one okay, in, in, at international level in Ankara, Turkey. If you look at the basis there. Mm. Okay. So blended learning because I believe, okay, I believe in myself that even if there is no COVID-19, there is still a mixture of the F to F and then we have the synchronous and asynchronous, but we can see really the effectiveness of that particular teaching approach or teaching method if we compare with the with the conventional or the traditional one okay so there is what we call cooperation okay and of course we have generated and we open up for yung cortina natin all right are you still with me hello okay if you are still with me what's the color of my long sleeve because i am talking to the master teachers at that time. Blue? No, I'm not the blue one. Yung upaw, yung kalbo, I'm not the blue. The color of my, yellow, I mean, <laughs> long sleeve is yellow. Thank you very much. You got it, uh, uh, Sir June Ray. Yellow, thank you. Yes, yellow. Yung ubang yellow, ibang yellow, no, wala pong W, it's still okay. Nahimu ng eyes ang yellow. Yellow, yellow. Thank you very much. So you are still alive. As an instructional leader, we need to engage in frequent classroom visits because that's the trend now. We need to promote and participate professional learning with teachers, review evidence about student learning. Yung mga MPS po natin, you know MPS, okay? Yung performance sa Form 14. Diyan natin makikita sa ismia at the dismia. Okay? So that's how I collaborate, okay? Para po sa akin, mura sa tag principal ani para ba akong principal i coordinate with them and i know already what's behind the mind of my my colleagues okay if i'm dreaming to become no it's really my nature to just speak about what i've learned from Cebu normal university otherwise wala pong mangyayaring district research sa south district 4 and let me show you this is the our crafted uh abstract because the publication of this is ongoing we produce statistical synthesis okay and using inductive approach to generate a theory and if you look at our theory it enlightens the results you know the age of enlightenment marami pong natuto sa panahon ng kasaysayan but here is the opportunity to engage through pl again i cannot do this without 
the support and the help of my administrators. Even if surgery room is already assigned in another district, I would still continue because that's my mantra. This is how I find happiness in my job. Okay. And uh, I'd like also to share you this one. This is related study somewhere in Uganda. And you know Uganda, this is a less developed country. Okay. The, the instructional supervision, pedagogical practices of public secondary schools. And if you look at the results, if you look at the results, okay. Um, school authorities were inadequately carrying out instructional supervision. Okay? Inadequate po. Kung inadequate sa kanila, we have to do adequate. Okay? Leaving teachers to employ ineffective pedagogical practices. So if we agree with this because you also do the same thing, then you have to change little by little. Okay, change little by little. That's one thing that you need to look for the related study when you do your thesis, when you do your dissertation. Okay, and attending, of course, professional trainings like this one. Okay, so again, it's not only for certificate. We have to widen our latitude. Widen our latitude. Okay, can we have a short survey? Okay, let's have a short survey. Answer me with SA for strongly agree. A for agree and so on and so forth. Okay, this one is all about supervision. My school head usually notifies me before the lesson observation. Answer me with S A A or S T. May I say your answer? Wow, thank you. My school head usually focuses on the fact of teaching rather than this one supervising. Thank you. Next number three, supervisors from depth ed usually supervise the way I teach. Char really. Oh, uh, really? For me, I disagree because it has never been happened to me. Next, uh, I regularly get feedback whenever the deputy official supervises me. Uh-huh. Uh, C, D. Kapag D, ipig sabihin ikaw po ay tunay na nagtatrabaho. Number five, I am often happy with the manner in which my supervisor gives feedback observation. Uh-huh, really? Agree or disagree or strongly agree? Agree, agree, agree. Now, my question is, is there a right and correct answer? Yes or no? Meron bang correct or right answer in yung mga survey? Ang survey na to? Answer me with yes or no. <laughs> yeah, yes or no? The answer is no. Because this is a personal arbitrary. Ito po ay sarili ninyong decision. Okay? Sariling decision. Let's continue. All right. So let's clarify again what is instructional leadership. Thank you for participating, Ma'am Ninita, Ma'am Flora, Ma'am Yebes. Opinion only. Yes, correct po kayo, Ma'am Flora. Okay, thank you po for your participation. Wow, very good. Okay, marami po tayo mga alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Instructional leadership, most commonly associated with school principal, manage the curriculums or curricula, empower the teachers to become leaders themselves and distribute the weight of the school of responsibilities more equitably. Model of teamwork for students to look up to. Okay, again, this it's easier said than done. Let's move. Let's intensify our discussion. All right. Okay, if you look at the example of instruction leadership, remember that we lead by example, okay? And if you have your communication skills, that is the verbal and unwritten communication skills essential, essential for leadership. So don't be afraid if, okay, you'll be facing with people because you have chosen this one, decision mo na maging principal ka, wag kang matakot kapag huh? you are facing now the different avatars <laughs> different faces okay because communication skills is one that's number one communication skills effective planning instructional ability to research and provide necessary resources improving learning and allows teachers to be more effective at their jobs so as principal one of the example is you have to adopt new technology and if you're not that good in technology you have to ask somebody to coach or help you Next, we have trust, trustworthiness, okay? Trustworthiness is a positive and being fair, okay, for your colleagues. A good instructional leader can remain calm and fair during a discussion where people present opposing ideas, okay? Do you uh, experience this one? Merong po kayong kahidwaan or conflict, but the principal must listen, must not side, okay? Listen. 
balance the judgment. Next, competence. Teachers rely on instructional leaders for information associated with instructional methods. We listen up to our principal. If they are really good in management, therefore, they are also good as instructional leader, even if they are not teaching the one that you are teaching or area of specialization. Because if I am an Araling Palipunan teacher, one of the uh, hidwan or conflicts might be the uh, principal. It happened to me in private school. Then I adjusted because of maturity, you know, already. Okay? For eight years in the private school, and now this is my 12th year in the Department of Education. And we have to build okay? collaboration, team building and collaboration. Okay, meron po tayong mga team building dyan. We have to create dependable team that works together to create a more effective and positive learning environment. In our school, we apply, I just simply established CI or creative investigators. So I will say to them, ah, CI po tayo, CI ta, ma, mag CI na ta. CI meaning we have to do research, but I do it through joke only because I understand that it takes time for them to decide once they collaborate with me with me in doing research there's no turning back but i still smile and then enjoy them that's how i deal with my friends then we have also optimism okay being positive also we we lead the attitudes we spread to the teachers the students and everything even our students do not force them to learn abruptly because according to the foundation of education, there is what we call the law of readiness, the law of effect, okay, something like that. So we have to go back to the foundations of education, especially the application of SRL or, or self-regulated learning. I've learned that from Magister Service and I applied that one in our uh, action research. That's why if you look at the, this one, another study, this is a model. All of us has the capacity to make a model. The only thing is, how would we do this one? No? They examine the existing perceptions. And if you look at the results, supervisory approaches were less, no significant differences, teachers and attitudes and satisfactions, they are contributors to the development. But if you look at number four, if you look at number four, okay? Can you uh, read or do you understand that one? Regression analysis, that attitudes and satisfactions are the most important contributors to professional development. So you will say, my attitude ka talaga. Attitudinal problem. And that's one of the factors that may prevent you to cooperate with the rest of the group. That's why we have to refresh our mind with this Okay, so there are many approaches. And what will happen to the approaches if we cannot apply this one based on our perception? And this was 2012 and until now, there are still attitudinal problems. Okay, do you agree with me? Meron ding attitudinal problems. Okay, yes or no? Attitudinal problem. Okay, that's why since at our attitudes vary, we have to look for a CI investigation. If you look at this one, this is a type of questionnaire when we ask for the uh, what we call types of supervision. This is what we call a bipolar po, okay, or semantic differential. Okay, you have to choose the left or the right. If it is real, it indicates frequency with which approaches actually occurred. But if ideal only, it indicates the frequency that these approaches should occur. So again, it depends on your respondents or perform, I mean participants, what type of supervision are they are doing? Okay, Thus, I'm referring to the principal, of course, the master teachers, the middle administrators, and the coordinators, because some schools, okay, having uh, no master teachers, there are coordinators. So we have to do this one and ask this. You may ask this one to register. Serve us the copy. All right. Can we have a short survey? Okay. Answer me with SA. Hey, are you still alive? Answer with, with me, me with SA, whether you agree or agree or neutral. Okay. Number one, okay, are you still with me? I am convinced of the needs of instructional supervision. 
Strongly agree or agree? Yung totoo po ha? Convinced ba kayo? Thank you, Ma'am Joanna Maria. Number two, supervisory choices should be available to beginning teachers. Beginning teachers lang ba? Supervisory choices. Meron pong seasoned teachers na kailanman alam nyo na. Then time should be given to the implementation of any instructional supervision. Strongly agree, agree. Beginning teachers should receive adequate supervision. Yes, meron pong mga beginning teachers that we need, 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 especially the master teachers. Supervisory practice should consider the development okay, of individual teachers. So if you look at supervisory, thank you for answering, Ma'am Anna Faith, Ma'am Rochelle, Ma'am Lizelle, Ma'am Joanne. Thank you for participating. S-A-S-A. S-A-S-A meaning to say, if we plot that one in a curve, Nandiyan po yung it's skewed to the skewed to the right po. Ibig sabihin, you're really functioning okay, or working with by your position. Okay, so how will you improve? Let's refresh again our leadership. Did you conduct formal observation at regular intervals? Or did you allow yourselves to be observed and provide helpful Helpful feedback. Meron po mga feedback. Feedbacking is very important. But do it in a loving way. Uh, do it in a loving way. Or in a, what we call friendly way. Establish realistic expectations. Okay? Keep learning and be a role model. So dapat role model po tayo because we are aiming to become a school head. Okay? So how about legal basis coming from DepEd, from other divisions? I take this from the division of Das Marinas. Okay? So nasa Calabarzon po yata. Ito po yung home ni Magister Servos. School instructional supervision includes preparation of a monthly supervisory plan. So this will be the basis for conduct of instructional program supervision and technical assistance. Every region or division have their own system of enhancing the uh, leadership on instructional supervision. So if you look at the template, Okay, merong ISP, Instructional Supervisory Plan. Then the day to be uh, uploaded, okay, last week. And then you have the persons uh, responsible. You have the senior high school, the head teacher, and the master teacher. They should help one another, either of those responsible. Then we have Instructional Supervisory Report. We have the ISR, first week of the month, and then the same person. All right. So... You can still copy this one and then think of it. You can modify also the date, the name of the teacher, then the position. All of them are master teachers. Then the grade level or area, then the activities to be conducted. And what is the modality? F to F. Then we have also in-person provision of instructional supervision. Okay. Then let's go. If there is a plan, there's also a report. Do not just simply rely on the plan. Okay, instructional supervisory report. So the same also. And there are findings. Okay, so the most important, there are the findings because from the findings, you will create another report. Po. Okay, and you need also a technical assistance given. Okay, so if you look at the findings, has submitted smart, comprehensive, and complete weekly learning plan. So back to smart naman tayo. Because the SMART is the principle in when we make plan. It should be specific, measurable, attainable, reliable, okay, and time-bounded. Okay, so let me continue. All right. Are you familiar with COTRPMS for teachers 1 to 3? Ito po, okay, ang karugto ng ating PBB. <laughs> PBB is coming. On-class observation. Okay, the tools should be used, huh? RPMS, and you know that already, classroom restructuring on school effectiveness, model the school, this is how we became part of the system, okay, and did we, uh, yes, po, did we do this, huh? did you ask, okay? and you have also your portfolio, merong mga isat and dami pong evaluation, just to, okay, realize the performance based bonus kasi ito po ang nagbibigay sa atin ng buhay na buhay na pagganyak motivation po okay so 
By the way, did you receive already your PBB? <laughs> did you receive? Ah, oh, yes po. May nakatanggap na pala. Na. No, sir. Ah, pareho tayo. Not yet po. Ah, pareho tayo. We have not received yet. But don't worry. We have a savings account. We have loanable account. Okay? Did you also loan? Pareho lang tayo. Okay? Okay. Ang sabi nila, hindi ka raw teacher kapag hindi ka nagla-loan. Still hanging on the air. Yes, LRN. Ang langit ray na sayod. <laughs> Lonesome and lonely from SDO Rizal. Kulay si, huwag po kayo mag-alala. Okay? It will okay, bring huh, into reality. Wala pa po, sir. Okay? Pareho lang tayo. But still, we survive. Survive pa rin po tayo. That's how we, we practice. All right. So, if you look at this, okay, answer me with yes or no. Yes or no lang po. The PTA is functioning effectively. Really? Yes or no? Answer me with yes or no. Okay? So, short survey. The principal assess the school strengths and identifies the areas of improvement. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Really, huh? The principal promotes well-being and positive moral professional. Continue. Continue. All right. Ensures all the aspect and classroom and yard. Did your principal do the rubbing? Nagro-rubbing ba ang inyong principal? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Meaning we are one of the model schools. Okay. Continue. Yes or no? According to the area of management resources, updated ba ang inyong MOOE or other local funds? Did you know where the MOOE? Yes or no? Oh, may no. May nag no. Stakeholders sustain the implementation. No po. Sus. Na. What will happen? Sometimes I will also say, you know, how about classroom restructuring? The chalkboard is located with the following features, but with chocolate. Yes or no? To tell you honestly, we don't have chocolate. We have curtains. Okay. The bulletin boards are tack boards, but some grade level, walang bulletin board, walang kabuhay buhay. I Meaning, and have washing and drinking facilities. Do you have? We have washing and drinking facilities, but sometimes wala pong tubig. Why agas sa Bisaya pa? Washing only. See? Uh, let's continue. Yes or no? When it comes to school canteen, do you have a canteen? All right. Yung canteen ba? Sanitary permit? Meron bang health certificate? Yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Food safety standard. Okay. Mga native ba? Waste segregation, native preparation. How about the physical facilities? May screen ba ang door ng inyong canteen? Oh my no. Next, sharing of proceeds. Did you sh really share your proceeds? <laughs> On feeding program, school operations, yes or no? Really? Okay, always, always, always. Ah, meron no sa amin. Meron ding yes, meron ding no. Because this is only the school year we are permitted to have our 500 per teacher. We have 104 faculty members in our school. Okay, so this is only a quick survey and you can borrow this one from Magister Service. Okay, let's move now to our related uh, study, the instructional leadership, the rule of heads of schools in managing instructional program. Remember, it in investigates, nag-i-investigate na naman po. Instructional leadership engaged by heads of schools to enhance classroom instruction. So that is really the role of the principal. But if you look at the results, I colored it yellow. There is no, oh, maraming no, not familiar with the concept of IL, your instructional leadership. What else? Not involved in coordination. What else? Did not undertake classroom observations. And question, are there still master teachers or principals who did not do the same thing or who do the same thing? They did not undertake classroom. Okay, something like that. So and I hope there, are, there is none. Okay, or else. Okay, magkapareho tayo sa anong bansa ito. It's an Tanzania. This is in 2016. However, we have to mirror because there are salient points that we need to compare and then we trust also. Then uh, this is another uh, 
creative investigation, I collaborated with my assistant principal, Mr. Charlie W. Sayas, because I am a research coordinator and he is the coordinator of teacher induction program or TIP. We made a an action research and the title is an evaluation of the teacher induction program in Don Seria Osmeña Senior. That's where I am teaching through the eyes of the beginning teachers. See, through the eyes, meron pa balang mga mata si Angelita <laughs> or eyes of the beginning teachers. Okay. And uh, we use the three variables here. I use yeah, three variables. We have the IPCRF. Then we have the self-rating. We let the beginning teachers rate themselves according to our program, the IP. And of course, their coordinator. So three variables. Po. And then we use a thematic analysis. And if you look at the theme, there is an orderly learning environment. Okay, And the development of effective teaching practices. They also show love, respect, and caring. Our TIP, at that time, there were only eight. eight new teachers then the promotion of personal and professional development okay okay uh the the variables for instruction classroom okay are significant po. so ibig sabihin they are functioning when they are in the hands of charlie w sayas and until now we are still having our program and to tell you okay sa awa ng Diyos, we presented this one at an international level Okay, we presented this one in Azerbaijan. Okay, so ito pong si Professor X, I mean, ito pong si Charlie W. Sayas, I candidate po ng kanyang doctorate degree. So I have to support him with this TIP because his next course, because he will be going abroad na someday, is to teach abroad, sped po, special education. But we were able to contribute in our school about this one, an evaluation of our TIP. And that's how I strengthen my leadership in the field of research because that's my craft. That's my forte. Okay. And another related study, the instructional leadership and the rule of module leaders. So if we'll be using module and we have the principal, sila po yung module leaders natin. However, meron pong however, Okay, instructional leadership enables the program to establish a shared belief around learning which can improve the learner's achievement because other divisions, they find it something uh, not that uh, wholesome because uh, modules okay, may differ can only be applied in an emergency. Again, in an emergency like all students or impregnated yung mga uh, nabuntis na mga estudyante nagmomodular po okay and what can we learn from this again what can we learn from this we have to accept or negate with the findings because this is one of the gaps okay things that you possess and others having no possession that's the most important in research and it is very limited that's why since it is limited yung time po natin ay nagaandar okay so what will happen to us teachers Okay, if you want to be a good leader, this is something you should know. Okay, do you still uh, listening to me? Are you still with me? So true po yan, kaya po ang dami naming full wall. Okay, so if you are still with me, can you name the color of my uh, long sleeve? Naka three port po yan. What's the color if you are still? Okay, just to confirm, violet, violet, violet. Thank you. Ang iba po, ang tawag nila dyan, I start with her M. Yung nasa pera po natin, start with her M. Magenta! Thank you, Ma'am Cloudy. Yes, magenta po ang tawag nila. All right. So, this is something that we should know because a good leader must have this type of characteristics or criteria. Laser-like focus on student learning. So, this one should be aligned with the behaviors of our students. It should show their how they really understand themselves. So, if you are a teacher, you have to ask your students, why are you here? Ako po ay araling panlipunan, but when I teach applied economics, I really contextualize applied. Why are you here? And what are you going to do here? And where are you going after the end of the school year? Okay, so applied ayon ang economics. Okay. We are what we call epic educators. Okay? That every second 
of the day, every minute of the day is a learning process. Okay, a laser-like focus on student learning. There must be a strong evidence base. Research po ito. If you look at the pie chart, okay, beginning, emerging, develop, and well developed. We are aiming for for well developed, the orange one. But if you look at the orange one, which pie shows the greatest share? It's the academic discussion. Okay, academic discussion. And if you look at if you look at the academic discussion, okay, if you look at the academic discussion, which one shows the least the least frequency? Can you name the color? Can you name the color? Purple, magenta, fuchsia pink, huh? the po I blue. So whatever the results, whatever the results would be. There is something that's strong evidence base, and in our school we categorize this one through our ismea, okay? Through our ismea. Next, passion, passion, okay? So there's always a passion. You can Google my name and see passion in teaching research. Ronaldo V. Moral. So that's how we consistently share the strong and emotional connections for that feed from our model schools. They remember that what we are doing is all about the things that we need to preserve for our students. Dapat meron din pong future focus. If you want to know that you are a transformational leader, there is also what we call a transformational learning so you compare the traditional one with the transformational learning okay hybrid blended distance learning digital tools these are the things that we need to consider for ourselves the strategies that we will be applying and how we would continue to optimize learning to prepare the students for their futures and you can do that one by telling to your teachers because teachers have their own stories to tell about when they are inside the classroom next culture trump strategy during the pandemic there is what we call a magnified areas of strength and weaknesses in our collective fortitude because of the school as a part of the cultural system so there are models that are existing. That's why every district, every division, we continue to forge ahead and create positive learning environment and support the culture that are felt across the school community. We contextualize, right? And we also integrate. That's, that's normal for us teachers. If you don't do that, then the, the students will just merely nod, okay? Remember, the new version of uh, Bloom's taxonomy start with remembering and it ends with creating. It's not the, the, the usual one or the previous na evaluation. We are not only evaluating. We let the students apply and then we let them create. So if you uh, let the students do an activity, one of the criteria is paggamalikain or creativity. And that is part of the culture Trump's strategy. Let's move to the 41st slide, extreme innovation. So if you are hooked in technology, you should create disruption, working, teaching, leading strategies. And if you want to learn, you need to attend professional training, conferences, research. Just yesterday, I was invited by Yamore instructional instructional uh, international multidisciplinary research one of the judges okay, from different schools in the Philippines and I'm very happy because for me I believe that there is an extreme innovation that I can learn even if I won't receive any uh, honorarium because as a session judge there's no honorarium but the learning okay the learning can be of great help for you as a leader. And by all means, all means, all means all, rigor, relevance, relationship, all of this, when we assimilate, when we, uh, what we call, adapt, 
when we acquire this acquisition, we need also to apply. So if you look at the, what you call this, the horizontal side, the vertical side, okay, the higher, the higher the knowledge of taxonomy, the higher also application model. So if, if KT or knowledge taxonomy is higher and application model, okay, the horizontal is higher. So if we plot the points, okay, it is positive. So ibig sabihin, okay, ibig sabihin na align po, okay, align ang assimilation, adaptation, acquisition, and application of you as a leader. So you have applied what you have learned. And of course, diversity. So what does it take to be a model school is to understand that we learn differently but within only one goal. So if you look at, because if I patterned this one from, from the United States of America, they have their urban, suburban, and rural. They have the public and private and, and charter. Iba po sa U.S. Our K-12 is patterned from other countries, from the U.S. That's how, and that's why they have the, the federal system, okay? Because they are united from the land mass. But if you look at the Philippines, tingnan nyo po ang mapa ng Pilipinas. Ang dami pong, ano ba ito? Agta, kapre, ano ito? Because of the cultural diversity, okay? We have to adjust to, to, to the system. And what will we do? There is what we call diversity. That's why uh, come to think of how could I contribute as a leader in this, uh, in this part of the Department of Education. I continue leadership with action research. I top the Filipino teachers. And uh, actually, the title po namin ay Tagalog. Okay. Uh, ang bagong kalakaran ng komunikasyon, sining ng komunikasyon tungo sa mapanimdim na journal na mga mag-aaral sa senior high school. But since we trans, uh, we presented this in, at international level, we translate it into Tagalog uh, hanggang sa naging new trends in communication arts through reflective journals. Okay? At napublish na rin po. Ito po yung mga uh, kauban Friends ko po sa mga master teachers, si Teacher Elizabeth and Teacher Jean Piper. So, and they're very happy, strong po ang, uh, ang trend ng uh, action research. And we applied this one because we use the theory of Paul Pintrich, okay, of Zimmerman, self-regulated learning po. Behind our study, we anchor the theory of SRL or self-regulated learning. Metacognition po ito. Okay. And another, I also lead. Okay. If you look at the guapings, all right. Okay. So, the small, medium, and large. Ito pong medium, siya po ang leader ng tatlong musketero or musketeers. <laughs> okay. So uh, I lead, but they are, were the one who gathered the data and interpret. The title is Perspective Drawings of Senior High School Students in Housekeeping and Technical Drafting. This is a theory development approach. And we also okay, receive our certificates, and this is all, all, already published index in Google Scholar. They were very happy because the two of them are Still, teacher one po yung isa, yung isa ay teacher three. Okay, so that's our product. So, sino ang pinagagwapo? Huwag nyo na lang sagutin. All right, next. Okay, I also taught and collaborated with my, my amo. Ito po yung boss ko sa Araling Panlipunan, si Ma'am Princess Estrada. The title of our study is The Social Studies Teacher's Experience of Blended Teaching and Learning with Students Modular Schooling. Our respondents here are the AP Teachers and Narrative Inquiry. And until now, we are still in the process of data gathering because in depth ed, ang dami pong mga papeles. So, natagalan, medyo natagalan po, February 20 pa. But still, uh, she's very happy doing with this. Through my leadership, ganun po ang aking contribution as an ordinary master teacher. Then, I also collaborated with our English teachers and mathematics teachers 
Okay, the Herbartian approach, ito pa yung inductive or deductive Herbartian po. How will we know the effectiveness of the Herbartian approach with the student's numeracy skills and language fluency? Okay, so that's our plan that was February 27 and until now, we are still in chapter 2 because in chapter 3, medyo natagalan po sila. So what I am doing now is to facilitate this one so that hopefully by June or July, we can share this. Okay, so remember that I cannot do this one without the approval of our principal and supervisor. And I also work with, okay, for the first time with our OIC, our PSDS, okay, Ma'am Alice Ganar, who is now the full na, na pagka, uh, supervisor ng senior high school okay, and araling panlipunan. Systematic review of research-driven pedagogy in the new normal modalities is a theory generation and practical applications. Again, if we have a theory, we need to apply this one. Okay, practical meaning to say we do not know what might happen, positive or negative. Either of those results, we have to duplicate huh? or replicate, repeat and duplicate. So that's why in Cebu City, in Cebu City, uh, we have our, also our own mantra of matatag. Ma, make the curriculum relevant to produce competent and job, okay, uh, ready, active, and responsible citizens. So below, these are our mini programs. We have localized and contextualized learning materials. We have School for the Arts, Job Fit Program, 2K Kibi, Kaayuhan o Kalambuan sa Gabataang Bajau. We have this one, okay? In the division of Cebu City. That's for Ma. And Ta, we have this. We have Prime HRM Level Maturity, LGU, I Dream Project, Project Pasar. Pasar means past. Okay, pasar na sa mo, ah. nakapasar. School CI, so that's, there's is continuous improvement. Ours is creative investigation. Then we have ESP, P service, tracking system upgrading, Iris. Then we have Adapt a School Brigada Escuela. And I believe that you have also your own matatag theme because that is now our mantra, our philosophy of the day. Next for the ta, the second ta is ALS, open high school program, expansion of SPED. Then we have first high school for hearing impaired, inclusive education. We have uh, Arabic language, that's madrasa education. We have sailor happy, kalusugan mo, concern ko, grassroots program for sports. Okay, and we have the G. Okay, uh, the last G, we have the competency-based and performance-based professional accreditation. Okay, then we have lock sessions. I believe you have also your lock sessions. We have shape there. Then we have master's cafe. Okay? That is for the master teachers. And of course, we have to strengthen instructional supervision. Why? Bakit? Nga no, kaysa Cebu City, kalidad nga serbisyo, permanente. So that's how we contribute the leadership, instructional supervision okay, in our division on how we contribute for the development of our country. Okay, so to conclude, okay, these are my conclusions. I just simply look for positive Mas maganda kasi yung positive conclusions and recommendations. Okay? Mayroon pong classroom observation na mangyayari. Post-analysis conference positively and significantly which influence po the teacher's effectiveness. Instructional supervisory techniques for newly posted teachers. 